What's up, Savannah? It's Jughead. Just kidding. It's Lily. I have a Halloween-typed video for you today, Savannah. Today, we are doing a segment called Trick or Treat. We have tasked Jill to do a bunch of pranks throughout the entire month of October, and Mom, Dai, and I made some super fun Halloween treats at the month of October. Savannah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get on with it. All right, Savannah, let's go see the first prank Jill pulled this month. Okay, Savannah, so the prank is a trick or treat thing. We're doing a trick. And it's because of fear, her biggest fear is spiders. So I took some spiders and I taped them all on the toilet. So when she opens the toilet, she'll scream. I know she will. I don't think I understand. Are you recording for Savannah? I don't know what you're talking about. This is unacceptable, Savannah. <laughs> they take a bunch of nasty spiders to the toilet seat. I need to be able to pee in peace. <laughs> <laughs> you have to send her smiles. I'm Today, Dahlia and I are making popcorn balls as part of our treat portion of the trick or treat that my sister and I are doing for our children. Now that we've done a trick, let's do a treat. So, Savannah, we are still working on mixing our ingredients, which it's a pretty basic popcorn ball. It's not traditional. This one's actually made with marshmallow, and I don't think that they were traditionally made with marshmallow. So if you've ever made popcorn balls, I would be interested to hear how you make yours. Um, so we're gonna stir this all up and then we're gonna start molding our balls to give to our neighbors. Okay, Savannah, so Diane and I are back with our popcorn balls. We're kind of making this up as we go. So we're like adding sprinkles and stuff to them. I don't know if people actually do that. But with these, we are sending you some very sticky sweet smiles because this is quite a mess. You actually have to spray your hands down in cooking oil to even mold your popcorn balls. So, we'll watch Dahlia sort of mash one together <laughs> real quick <laughs> so you can see how it goes. Like me being all creative. This is... Yeah, this is about the extent of Dahlia's cooking abilities. <laughs> the kitchen is not her forte at all. Isn't it cute? And now we have a little... Blob! Blob. <laughs> Okay, Savannah, so we have finished our popcorn ball. You can tell which ones Dahlia and I did because Dahlia did the little ones and I wanted to get done quicker, so I made mine bigger to so use up more of the popcorn. But she doesn't <laughs> want to wash her hands. She says it's really good, so I'm going to take her word on it. And, um, it was real nice. She says it's really good. So hopefully they, <laughs> they turned out and everybody else will like them as well. Okay, so this is uh, our first trick no, our first treat. Jill's doing the tricks, I'm doing the treats. That's what we're doing. So, we are sending you sweet sticky smiles from our popcorn ball factory making kitchen. Kayla! Can I come in for a minute? trick portion of the trick and treat thing that we're doing I am making Frankenstein Rice Krispie treats so I've already made them as you can see they're green and now we just have to turn them into little monsters and I'm gonna have Finley our neighborhood toddler helping us out okay Savannah so I'm trying to put chocolate hair on our Frankenstein so I'm just dipping the top of them into chocolate and then when they were all said and done, little Finley here is going to help me put their eyeballs and their smiles on. I probably should be following an actual recipe for this, but I'm just kind of winging it. Because I do that sometimes. Okay. Okay, Savannah, this is Finley. Finley, wave to the camera. Can you say hi, Savannah? Hi, Savannah. And she's going to help me finish making up these little monsters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little zigzag smile. 
and then I'm going to put two little dots and Finley's going to put the eyeballs on the chocolate dots. These guys need eyeballs too. Okay, Savannah. So there you have it. We have our cute little Frankenstein rice crispy treats, and that is our treat portion for this. And we're gonna go see what Jill has in store for the tricks. They're really good. They are very good. They're very good. Should Savannah make some of these, or should her yeah. parents make some of these for Let her? Let her parents do it. Well, for. <laughs> oh, he's got some fighting in. I'll give him that. Way to fight it, Ethan. <laughs> Pause. I have a super important question to ask you, Savannah. I want to know what you're going as for Halloween. For Halloween this year, I'm going as Jughead and a group of serpents with some friends. Okay, Savannah, so Lily's here, painting her pumpkin. Hi, Savannah! And while she's doing that, I'm going to be here in the kitchen making a cranberry pumpkin chocolate bread thing. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be good because generally when we make it, it's okay. I mean, last time I made it, I, I kind of messed it up a little bit. But, but this time, it, it's going to turn out good. Right, Lily? Savannah so I put everything together and I put them in the oven for like 85 minutes which is like uh, over an hour I'm not gonna do that in my head but it's over an hour and so they look like this there's another one in the oven baking this is this one okay Savannah so while making this bread three things went wrong but this time it's gonna turn out good. First and foremost, I forgot to grease the pan, okay? Second, I didn't add enough spices to it. And then the third would be this second bread. I put it in there for like an hour and 10 minutes and I checked it and it wasn't done. So I put it back in and I decided I would put dishes away and then I would check it again. Except that I got distracted. And then about half an hour later, my mother came to tell me that she smelled something burning. It would be my bread. This second loaf of bread was in the oven for nearly two hours. I don't know if Jill told you, but they tried to play a prank on me. It didn't work out very well. My mother was very undiscreet about this. We were eating dinner one night, and all of a sudden, I hear the video recording button. You know the video, the button you press, and it makes a noise, and you can like so you know it's recording. Well, I heard that, and I was looking around because I knew somebody was recording, but I couldn't quite figure out who and why they were recording. So I, I noticed the camera instantly because I heard it, and my mother tried to deny it, but hello. Her voice gave it away. She was obviously recording for a specific reason. And then just handed me this bag from Jill, who I knew was playing pranks on everybody. Like, I figured it out very quickly. So I'm sorry I, you didn't get much of a reaction from me, but I figured it out very quickly. They need to work a little harder if they want to prank me next time. So, Mom and Jill, if you're watching this video, try a little harder next time. Thank <laughs> you. 
making another treat. We're going to make some super cute applesauce mummies. These are so cute and super, super easy to make and they are perfect for toddlers. So like Finley or like your brother would be perfect to make these for. All right, Savannah, I'm going to show you everything you need to make these. You're going to need a squeezy applesauce, some white streamers, a lighter and a glue stick or a hot glue gun, and some googly eyes. You're going to want to start by measuring out how much you're going to need. So just wrap it around a couple times like that. And then, obviously, you're just going to cut it. And then you're done with your streamers. You don't need it anymore. Then you unwrap it. And this is how much you're going to use. And then you're going to need to put some glue on the back of it using your hot glue gun. All right, so now I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of my mummy so that we can tape, or so we can glue this in place, boom. And then you can just wrap it around. So once you reach the end at this point, you're just going to glue it down again, and then glue it down like that. And then you can just cut off the excess if you have a lot hanging off the end, like I do. Boom. So now that it is wrapped, we just need to add some eyes to it. So these are my googly eyes. I'm going to add some big ones. They are right here. And we're just going to add two eyes to the front of our mummy. You can do them however you want, but I'm gonna put mine a little closer together. I'm gonna put some glue there, and some glue there. And then I'm just gonna put my eyes on. And that is it. Super easy and super, super cute in my opinion. Okay, Savannah, so we are sneaking into Michaela's car. She's at school. Today is Halloween, and we are so playing a trick on her. We are going to fill the inside of her car with spider webs and spiders. Okay. Because both Auntie and the mother of Michaela are involved in this trick, <laughs> there's a trick and a treat. So, she is going to get a treat on her seat and a trick of spiders. <laughs> enjoyed this video and have a happy Halloween with some spooky smiles.